In this ukulele video, we're gonna go over the blue shuffle, and this is the intermediate version. Hi, I'm Terry Carter. Welcome to You Collect the Pros. If you haven't done so already, make sure to subscribe to the channel. That way you stay up to date with all the blues, ukulele videos I do up here. I even do some reviews as well. So this video is the intermediate blue shuffle. There's three parts to this. There's an easy blue shuffle. So you wanna make sure you check that video out because this one is gonna build upon what we did in the last one. And then there'll also be one after this, which will be the advanced blue shuffle. So let me play a little bit of it and then uh, I'll show you exactly what I'm doing. So this one is taking what we learned in that easy version. And the easy version was just this strumming of the A7, D7, E7, which is. It's just taking that, but you're gonna now add some melody notes to the chord, which is this. And just by adding that one note, it just makes it sound so much more authentic, more like a real traditional blues shuffle would be. All right, so it's gonna start here on the A7 chord. This is real simple A7 chord. You're gonna strum it with a down up, so one and, and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna add, I use my third finger. I'm gonna add it by, while keeping the first finger down on the A7, I'm gonna add my third finger to the second string, second fret, and then I'm gonna strum it again. And this is an A6 chord. So you're basically going from like an A7 to a A6. If you wanna get real technical, some of you might call it an A13 and that's totally fine as well. But honestly, don't worry about it. Just follow what I'm doing here, all right? So you're gonna do that twice. And then you're gonna go back to that A7. So take the finger up and then add that finger again. And that's one measure. Now, if you prefer, instead of using your third finger and you wanna use your second finger, your middle finger, that's totally fine as well. I just use my third finger. All right, so if we do it, it's gonna go A7, add the third finger, take it off, add it. Now I'm doing a little pause in between, but that's really the concept of it. If I take that pause out, it's gonna go one and two and three. And essentially you're just going, that's that melody note that's changing. Now, this is a 12 bar blues, so we're gonna do that for four measures, because this is the first four bars, measures one through four. So here we go, let's do it. Ready and. If it helps you, when you're gonna, you're gonna add that finger on beats two and four, so that might help you keep your place. All right, the next two bars, measures five and six, are gonna sound like this. So now I'm just on my D7 chord here. And if you notice, I do finger my D7 chord with my second and my third finger. If you prefer, you can use your first and your second finger. That's fine as well. For some reason, this has always been an easier way to finger it. All right, so you're gonna do a very similar idea like we did on A7. You're gonna be doing a D7 with a down up strum. And then you're gonna be adding, well, I'm gonna add my pinky here to the first string, second fret, and then I'm gonna do the same strum. Then I'm gonna take my pinky off, go right back to regular D7, add that pinky again. Now, if you're using fingers one and two, you're probably gonna be adding your third finger here to the first string, second fret. That's totally fine as well. Okay, so let's do it. You're just gonna give two measures of this. Ready and. Now, the next two bars go right back to the A7. You're gonna do exactly what we did at the beginning. Here we go, ready and.
And by the way, I do have a low G here on my ukulele. I just thought about telling you that. If you have a high G though, that's totally fine. Actually, it's gonna give you kind of more of a traditional blues sound if you do have a high G. All right, so let's do the last four bars. Let me play it first and I'll show you what I'm doing. All right, so this first chord, the E7, and this is bar nine of the 12 bar blues, is gonna be your biggest stretch that you have. It's gonna start off with your regular E7 chord. You're gonna do the same thing on beat one, strum a down up. Then you gotta reach your pinky, yep, your pinky, I know that's a stretch. You wanna keep these fingers down, and just wanna add the pinky here to the first string, fourth fret, okay? I know it's a little bit of a stretch, and you're gonna do the same thing, down, up, and that's beat two. On beat three, you take the pinky off, and then add it on beat four. And that's it, you just do one measure here of the E7. So let's try it, ready, and. And don't worry if that's a big stretch for you, that will get easier as your fingers just kinda get a little bit more dexterity in between them and even a little bit more strength if you're struggling with that. All right, so you do that one time, then you go to the D7, you do that once, ready, and. Back to the A7, nothing new, do it again, and. And then bar 12 goes back to the E7 and you do exactly what we already did. So here we go, and. Now, it's a lot because you're switching chords every measure. So give yourself some time with this one. Um, okay, so, but let's do it now. Last four bars, E7, D7, A7, and E7. Here we go, ready, and. And don't forget on the blues, it's a very cyclical form here, so you'd either at that point gonna repeat and go back to the beginning, or you would just end it on a A7 chord. All right, so we're gonna do it twice. We're gonna go to the very beginning again, we're gonna do the whole thing two times, and then we'll end it right there, like we just did on the A7 chord. All right, you ready? Here we go. Ready, and. Back to the A7. Here we go, E7, D7, A7, E7. We're gonna re repeat the whole thing, I'm not gonna say anything here. All right, so how did you do? I know that last time through, I didn't say anything, so you really have to use your ears and follow the music to make sure that you switch chords on time. So what do you think of this? Are you, I mean, is this cool? To me, I love the blues, and you gotta start with this basic version, because it, and just because it's basic doesn't mean it doesn't sound good, but learn and get down this basic one, and then we can expand on it and show you some cooler things. All right, and don't forget, there's an easier version, so check out that video if you need to, and then there's also an advanced version, and we're going to do that video next. Mm -hmm.